Hey everybody, Shane Link here, and I'm at the car wash washing my car because <laughs> my car was dirty for one, and two, I have a big day coming up this Friday. Anybody who was a high schooler in 2001 remembers a certain movie called Fast and the Furious. Fast and the Furious was not the greatest car movie of all time, but it was it was a decent car movie. It was a lot of fun to watch, and it, it really embraced the, the tuner culture, and it, it kind of helped bring a lot of what was underground into mainstream life. And one thing about Fast and the Furious movies you can guarantee is that when you go to an opening night Fast and the Furious in your town or in your, you know, your city or wherever your biggest movie theater is, there's going to be a bunch of, you know, nice cars, people who are there to celebrate Fast and the Furious, and usually they have a little impromptu car show in the parking lot, and sometimes it gets a little more serious than that, and it turns into what the law likes to call illegal street racing. Now, I do not partake in illegal street racing, but I definitely love going to Fast and the Furious on opening nights. So I was not going to sit here with my dirty ass car. <laughs> and show up at an opening night with the red car looking all messed up and nasty. And I haven't named the car yet. I'm going to. I'm thinking about Tabasco. <laughs> what do you guys think? Tabasco? I mean, black people like Tabasco as well, you know? <laughs> but we'll see. But yeah, as of right now, it's it's... I love this Mustang. It's a V6. You know, it's, everything is red. It's red on black. That's the color scheme that I'm going with. It's either going to be red or it's going to be black. The rims are going to be black. The parts that I've hooked up underneath the hood, they're black. Uh, floor mats, red and black. You know, I, I've just enjoyed having a project car. It's like, I take my little bit of allowance, so to speak, which is my, my money that I saved from not going to the bar this week or not going to a club or something, and I, I put it into the car. So, yeah, so far I've done cold air intake. I've done some uh, p competition catback exhaust by Magnaflow. I added the window louvers, and I added the mirror body color. So, uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, this has been, it's been a great project. I love the motorcycle, don't get me wrong. I will never stop riding motorcycles. But I also wanted to, you know, you need a, a car to get you around when there's heavy rain or snow that one time a year that we may see snow in this area. So, I don't know. So, back to Fast and the Furious, sorry. Uh, it's, it's my favorite, like, adrenaline, you know, gasoline action movie. You know, I like Die Hard, but Die Hard was a little before my time. And, you know, I, the last couple ones, I guess, I can enjoy. And I can go back and like the classics. But Fast and the Furious, is, it's just the movie series made for me. I love automotives. I love speed. And I like the actors. And ever since John Singleton directed Too Fast, Too Furious, you know, there's been R&B and rappers featured in Fast and the Furious movies. So it's, it's a movie that integrates a lot of culture because every culture... You know, has a hero in the movie. And it's just, it's never going to stop. You know, I'm, I'm probably going to see Fast and the Furious 10. I can guarantee that there will be a 6, which is coming out this Friday. There will be a 7 because they've already shot it, most of it. Uh, and if you have 8, you got to have 9 and 10. So I'm assuming they'll end it with 10. And like I said, I'll be there opening night, enjoying myself, popcorn drink and maybe I can get a couple of my co-workers from work to go with me and watch the movie now if you think I even have an okay car some of the guys at work that have shipped Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 bought themselves very nice cars one of my bosses drives a, a nice yellow Porsche uh, another senior designer drives a Ferrari that he bought with his Call of Duty money uh, another guy bought a Camaro and hooked it up to like 600 something horsepower 673 I think he said I mean, it's, it's, we've got a, a great collection of people there who love automobiles. Okay, so I'm done with my rant. My car is nice and wet. Uh, I'm going to dry it off and 
yeah hopefully you guys enjoy fast and the fierce as well if you don't you're missing out uh it's it's definitely worth the 12 bucks all right let me know what you guys think hope you enjoy it if you didn't you know go back and see it again give it another 12 bucks make it the number one movie of the weekend because it's competing against hangover 3 peace chain like that